Good afternoon and welcome to our Facebook Live today. My name is Jenny McCormack. I'm an independent stamping art demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley in the UK. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you're joining me live, do say hi and let me know that you're here. If you um, make a comment, then I can see who's joining me. If you're watching us on catch up, then you are still welcome to comment. But obviously I won't be able to speak to you live. But I do go back in and check the comments later on during the day. And this video will also appear on YouTube later. So you may be watching on catch up on YouTube, in which case hi, case, hi to you as well. You're welcome to make any comments, um, ask any questions by commenting on my um, YouTube video. And again, I watch those and monitor those on a regular basis. So let us get cracking. This week we have been featuring the Fine Art Floral Suite, which is... Hi Christine, yes, papers are gorgeous, as is the acetate. So this is the set that we've been using all week. It has a complete suite of papers, acetate, stamps and dies, and also some gold... Um, gilding so this is the whole um, suite of all the smaller products so I am going to show you the papers because they in their own right are stunning there's also some ribbon that goes with the set the heat and stick powder and the gold leafing and there's also a painted texture embossing folder for those that have a die cutting or embossing machine Thank you, Christine, for sharing. So this is the um, stamp set as well. This one here. Um, so this is the real um, size. Obviously, it's difficult for you to tell when it's on the screen because you don't know how close my camera is. Um, but it's really pretty two-step stamped images. So you've got the flower here with the detail You've got this one here with the detail. You've got a small flower and a stalk. And with the dies, you also have this that says just want to say. And that comes as a single die, but it cuts out the words separately so you can mix and match those. Hi, Molly. Oh, excellent, Christine. So there's a complete mix of things here. So we're going to look at the papers and the acetate today and work those together. So let us have a look. So these are the papers. So they are 12 by 12. They are our standard price, so £10.75 for 12 sheets. And you get two each of these six different sheets I'm going to show you. And uh, these are all double sided and they are all they were all um, actually hand painted in oils and things like that. And then they were photographed and manipulated. And in fact, um, I think it was this one here, this sheet here, I showed an image of that actually being created. Um, if you scroll back through my videos here there was a link to stamping up where this background was actually and the image was actually created so let me talk you through these pieces and then we'll get on with some crafting so these are in no particular order so i'll do this one side first so this reminds me of some papers that we had a few years ago that were more delicate than this um, so this has the feel of an oil or an acrylic paint, 
because you can see the texture of the paint as opposed to a watercolour effect. So we have this one here and a variety of colours. Then we have this one with the roses. We have this one with the grey background. So this is Smoky Slate and we've got some peacock in here and some pool party. Then we have this one here with the reds and the pink. I think that's particularly pretty. I love this detail, the centre of this flower here. And then we have a full sized one with the blue background. And then we have this one here, which actually mimics the flower itself. So you can actually use the die cut to cut out these flowers if you would like. Okay, actually um, fits that. So that's one side of all the flowers, papers. And then the other side are all like a painted wash, for want of a better description. So we've got this one here with pumpkin pie and a little bit of... Mm, it looks like Blushing Bride. Then we have this one here with Bumblebee. This one here with the, that beautiful um, Pretty Peacock Just Jade Pool Party. A little bit of white. And then we have this one here that's got that, um, that painted effect in the background like it's got layers of paint on it. And then we have the lighter version and then this one here. Okay, so those are the papers. And to match those papers, or rather to coordinate with them, we have three sheets of acetate. Now I've cut these sheets down because I did them as part of my um, paper share. Oh, Rococo Rose, yes. You could be right there, actually. Thank you, Christine. So, there's three sheets of these. There's this one. There's this one. I'm hoping you can see that. It's quite difficult with the um, light. I do apologise. And then we have this mosaic one here. Now you'll see they're gold on one side and if you turn them over they are silver like so and when they arrive they come as 12 by 12 sheets and if I just show you if I take this one here so it's a complete sheet that matches this sheet and if I just put this one up in the corner can you see that the gold on the acetate matches the flowers underneath? Um, let me have a look. I'm not sure I have it to hand. Let me have a look, see. Christine. Oh, I have got it. Um, there's a lot of them. <laughs> so, Bumblebee. These are the colours um, that match. Bumblebee, Flamingo, Merry Merlot. Mossy Meadow, Knight of Navy, Old Olive, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie, So Saffron, Terracotta Tile, and A Whisper White. But there's, I think there's definitely some more blue in there. Than they that than, than is listed. Let me have a look on the papers on the catalogue and see. Yeah, so they've only got the main ones in there. Okay, so the acetate here matches the papers like so. So there is a whole sheet of this 
which coordinates with this entire sheet okay and then we have this one as well does it match one of these i thought it did no perhaps it doesn't difficult to tell when you've only got a part of it isn't it it's not that one sorry ladies keeping you waiting while I'm lumbering around no maybe it doesn't <laughs> okay so this piece definitely coordinates so what we're going to do is create a card using these um, the acetate and the papers together obviously you can use these in their own right on a piece of card plain card or patterned paper hi Monica lovely to have you join us and you can of course with this um, if you're not matching up you can use the reverse of the sheet um, you can't use those obviously because on the standard sheet here if you turn this over this is not going to match obviously okay so that will sit onto there so we're going to use that corner to make a card we just put these papers to one side. I've only got a little bit of that acetate left, <laughs> which is a little bit confusing, isn't it? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a card base and I'm going to layer up this very top corner. So I'm going to cut this piece first to fit my card base. So I hope everybody is keeping well while I'm doing this. So this is a standard UK size card, 10 and a half centimetres across. So I'm going to cut a strip of this at 10.4 because I am going to make it cover the whole of the card front. But I like to have a millimetre, a millimetre short so it doesn't go over the edge. And then exactly the same here. I'm going to cut this to 14.75, like so. So this is going to fit on the front of my card like that. Obviously, you could cut this down. If you wanted to see more of the white edge, you could easily cut that down. And then when I'm using this piece, I'm making sure that I cut the same portion of that. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over and cut 10.4. And again, you could cut this slightly narrow as well if you wanted to. Okay, so you could keep this strip because you could still use that on a card. And then again, I'm making sure that when I cut this down, I'm cutting off the bottom piece. I've got this at 14.75. Okay, I'm just going to put that to one side for the minute. No, it doesn't. That would be very clever if it was <laughs> but no it doesn't it's just the reverse but you know if you just wanted i think for a wedding card if you had that on a pale blue or um purple posy something like that you know to match wedding colors if i took that one there i think that's really delicate on the silver side And then obviously there is the gold side. So if anything, it stands up more against the plain 
um, background but I'm going to do this to match just because I can now one thing you need to be aware of is that there is a coating on the back of this acetate so what you need to do is just remove that and this is to protect the acetate from any damage it's not noticeable and so it's very easy if you're not careful to put this on your card and then discover that your backing sheet is attached and not the actual card itself hi Lynn thanks for joining us I found a really good way to do this and I can't remember what I did maybe I scratched it with my um, scissors just going to try it on this piece first in case I've already removed it oh no I haven't that's good so I'm just going to go at the bottom and just scratch the corner and can you see it's a very fine layer it's not sticky okay a very fine layer but you do want to remove that because it is quite dull on that side without it okay and while I'm here I'm going to do the same on this piece here so turn it onto the silver side just scratch the very top and you'll have that layer removed I hope you've had a reasonable day Lynn okay so what I'm going to do is turn this round so it actually matches okay so you can see it coordinates and highlights the detail on that paper so all I'm going to do is stick the paper down and add that as a layer and then I'm just going to add um, a sentiment on top here or yeah probably down here maybe some ribbon as well so let's put our layers down okay now I just want to think about let's put this on there that's quite bright Oh, it's, it's Lynn Faye as opposed to stamping with Lynn. So let me pop that onto there. So just taking my time to line that up. As I say, I've cut it a millimetre short just so that it's not overlapping okay wish I could paint like that you never know okay so this is going to go on the top but what I'm going to do is decide where I put my sentiment so that I can put some glue underneath where the sentiment is going to sit so um, I've got a couple of options what I could do is cut out um, my just wants to say or and then I could just use just to say or just the word just um, thinking of you or something like that so what I'm going to do is pick out this I'm pretty sure is Poppy Parade that I used yesterday so I'm just going to get a little piece of Poppy Parade card hopefully I have some Poppy in my selection So what I'm going to do is cut out my just want to say and I'm going to put some self as e oh self adhesive sheet behind it to make it easier to put down. That 
see if I can find it. I cut some odd pieces. There we go. Now you can use foam as well if you want to but I'm just going to use um, the adhesive sheet behind and I think that would just about fit on there oh bless you yeah that's going to fit so I'm just going to trim that a little bit off I may not use all of it, but I'm going to pop that down. So there's one bit and this bit here. There we go. There we are. So, I'm going to cut this out, sorry, I've got both phones right next to me, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> sorry about that. I had two house phones and they were both ringing. So I'm going to cut out this just to say along this little bit here, like so. And then I might use this on this card. I might not, but let's give it a go. So I'm just going to run this through the die cutting machine like so. Hello, Tracy. bring this back in oh and hi carol with a, carol g with an e okay so this says just want to say and i've left the little top of the j in there for the minute i may or may not use it no and there's no mention of um, pretty peacock which i'm pretty sure is in there so who knows Okay, so what I'm going to do is I could just use just to say rather than just want to say. So I'm just lifting out my just. There we go. To say I do like the font of this. I really do. Okay, and I'm just going to poke out those little middle bits there. I'm quite sure what I've done with my oh my pokey tools in the other room because I'm preparing the class in a box, so that is why it's not to hand. So I'm just poking out those little middle bits. <laughs> Go. There we are. Okay, so I haven't fixed this down yet, so I'm just working out where this is going to go. Because I might add this on a... on a die cut, not quite sure. Okay, and let's stamp a sentiment from the set 
go. So I've got I'm thinking of you. So just to say I'm thinking of you would be a good thing together. Let's see if that's going to fit on there. Oh good, I'm glad it's not only me that thinks there's pretty peacock in there. <laughs> Thanks for that, Christine. Yes, Carol, how is your dog, darling? I hope she's okay. So I've got, I'm thinking of you, which I'm it's sticking a little bit. I'm going to stick, um, stamp in Poppy Parade. To see if this one is a bit better. So just inking that up. And stamping that as centrally as I can get. Hopefully. I did move a little bit. Oh yeah. That will work. Okay. So just to say. I'm thinking of you. Like so. Resting on the settee. Oh, bless her. Best, please check out. That's good. That is good. Um, so what do you think? Can I get away with that? Just like that, do you think? On its own? Or should I put that on an, a die cut? Let's just have a look. See what you think. So I haven't stuck this down. This has got the self-adhesive on the back at the ready. So just to say, I just love this font. Wish we had more words in this font. As is. Yeah, I think it could be right there. My poppy parade is a little bit pale. I might change that actually out for mossy meadow because it um, to me that doesn't look right against that. So um, so as is without the white die cut. Okay. So just to say. Tracy says with oh yes with oh now I'm confused <laughs> tell me with the white die cut or without without thank you <laughs> sorry I wasn't trying to be confusing let me take a drink okay so what I'm going to do is I want to swap that for a different colour because that in my mind that that red is too too light so I'm going to try mossy meadow and hope I've got a darker one I could of course heat emboss it it should be quite effective wouldn't it but let's give it a go I'm not sure there's much in that one either.
and I definitely need a day a day out to do all of my re-inking so let's try this one slightly better if not I, it might have to go early espresso A little kink in my paper here. There we go. There we are. I'm thinking of you. Okay, so these are going to go down onto the acetate. So what I'm going to do is stick those down and then use the back of the acetate to apply some glue where those words are is there a dot there is and i left it in here so that i didn't lose it okay so what i'm going to do is line this up on here like so i'm going to leave space for my thinking of you and so I'm just going to use the lines here to get that nice and straight. So I'm going to peel off my self-adhesive sheet backing. Oh yes, you could, couldn't you? Just thinking of you, dot, dot, dot. So I'm glad to hear that your hand is mending, Molly. But don't rush back. To crafting too soon will you I don't you I'm doing all of the good okay so this is lined up on here so I'm using those lines this main line here to um, get that nice and straight and then I'm going to do the same with these. Like so. Oh yes, I could put I'm thinking of you. Yes, I quite like that on the inside of the card. I'm liking that actually. Good idea. Yes. Right, so what I'm going to do is line this up. I don't have to worry then about space for my thinking of you. And I'm just going to line that up on this line here. Oh, your attempts at some crafting. I'm not sure that the doctors would have um, suggested that quite so quickly, Molly. But it's good that you're feeling good enough to do it. <laughs> You've been told off by Christine, Molly. Okay, so when I put this piece on, there was a gap. And that gap has appeared just here. So again, making sure that is straight. Like so. And then I know this piece needs peeling off. let that relax so it goes down 
properly. There we are. Just to say. And I'll put my dot on my J as well. go sorry you're watching me fiddle with this there we go okay so again just bringing this in using my grid paper for my alignment at the bottom of my characters bringing this over a little bit so it's clear of my J like so just to say and then let's pop out the little dot of the J And obviously you could use wet glue, but I really do recommend using um, foam pads or self-adhesive, especially with the acetate. I'm just looking to see which way around this needs to go. There we go. Just to say. Right. So that is literally going to go onto the front. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? The front of our card, like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the wet glue, just a very fine line of wet glue, where the letters are. I'm not going to do all of them. So, like that. So, just a very tiny amount of glue. And then I might also add one up at the top. If I need to. like so so you can't see the glue from behind here and I put on such a small amount that it shouldn't squeeze out from behind the letters hope you can see that okay like so there we go now what I could do to hold that in place at the top is I could also just put some ribbon around that at the very top I don't think I have any poppy parade though but if I could find my gold twine that would be perfect Amazingly, I have it. So this gold twine, so what I'm going to do is wrap this round a couple of times at the top and do a little bow. It won't cover up the acetate then and it will hold that acetate in place. Although, to be honest, it's it'll be well held anyway. But let's just add this. So rule of thumb if you just want to wind it round is four times the width of the card if you're adding a bow but I actually want to wind this round a few times in its own right so let me do that one two 
there. Three, like so. So it just becomes a small layer at the top, but it is going to hold the acetate. Oh, hi, Laura. Thanks for joining us. I hope you're keeping well. There we go. So I'm just playing with these um, acetate and the papers. Love this gold thread. I'm hoping somebody is going to tell me what it comes from because it's not available in its, in, in its own right. It comes as part of a pack. And I'm desperately trying to think um, which pack it is. Oh, good. I'm glad you're okay, Laura. Okay. A nice thing about this is if you want to, you can sort of shred the ends. You can even um, untangle this, separate it out, and use it as very thin strands. Mm. Yeah, I didn't think that had um, gold with it. But it did have green. I'll have to look it up afterwards and see. Okay, so I'm just going to let that um, just sit there at the top. So just to say, and I think Christine's idea of I'm thinking of you being on the inside. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, it's a great idea. So I'm going to put that on the inside. And... I think I'm, let's have a look at the mossy meadow again and see. Yeah, okay. Just making sure it's well inked. we have it so thank you for that inspiration um christine to put it on the inside um i will look it up and see i don't think it's dandy's garden dandy garden but yeah that's still in mossy meadow so there we go that is one and what i'm going to do is use this off cut because i'd already cut this to six by six um just to make another quick card and I had in mind using some of this in the background and just having it as a part of that. So I'm just going to cut up a little bit of this. This is that lovely um, bright blue. So they've got Knight of Navy there in there and Pool Party. I like this sort of lighter bit. So that's the bit I'm going to use for my card just quickly looking for my machine so there's that one there I hope you can see that if I leave that to the side oh it's reflecting badly not much better is it there we go okay so I'm just going to take a portion of this from the top and I'll make this nine and a half I'm just going to layer this up onto something else as well by 13.85 oh that's the bit I wanted really and I could use the silver side is what I'm thinking. Okay. 
yeah I want the lighter piece okay 13.85 I can't believe it's Thursday I was convinced it was Monday most of the morning I have no idea why Maybe it's because I had a bit of a... Oh, I didn't really have a bit of a night off last night, so it wasn't even that. Right. It's a bit of... Pool party. Behind this. And a bit of white. Now I haven't decided which way round I should do this. That's just so pretty, isn't it? So I've got white pool party layer and that. Or shall I put the white in there? Like so. I think that onto there is my winning shot so let me cut this layer up thank you, thank you for sticking with me ladies gone on a bit longer again today so let's cut this to 10 by 14.35 forever greenery thank you vanilla open weave your star I knew it was mixed with something but I couldn't place what it was so thank you so much for that Okay, so this is going to be my layer on here. Just think that's really pretty. And that's going to go onto a white card. One, two, three, like so. Let me just do these layers because that's nice and straightforward. Oh, thank you, Carol G. You're so sweet. Even after my slight disaster yesterday putting my arm my hand onto my inked vellum but never mind at least I didn't mess up the other card some consolation wasn't that so that's onto there just use this yeah. You're very sweet ladies, listening to me chatter on. So our craft and chat on is on Saturday this week, not on Sunday. It looks like a little face in there. So I'm going to cut this to fit that short layer. And another trimmer. And I'm going to the bit I'm going to take off is at the top where there's less of the um, detail. And like so. And remember, I have taken the backing of this piece already. Okay, from the acetate. What time on Saturday? Um, three to five on Saturday, Laura. So you're welcome. Oh, I still did that the wrong size. I want to make it just that size. And that's on um, Zoom. On this on Zoom, but with the same um, Zoom number as before. But I will post a link again on Gemini Crafts.
Um, same same place, same password for my um, Gemini Crafts one. Okay, so that is going to go onto there. And what shall I put on top of that? So I could do... Hmm, could do it this way around and do just thinking of you. Or something in an oval like that. This could go to one side as well. Do it at the top. What do you think? Just what have I? What other sentiments have I got? I'm going to say just sorry. I miss you. Could stamp on this bit of background in pool party. The flower. I just want to keep this plain, really. You can see I hadn't planned this one, can't you? <laughs> Let me have a look and see what we've got. Yes, yeah, just miss you. Could send to my mum. That works quite nicely. That shape, doesn't it? Perhaps that is better. Sort of want to do some stamping in there. So I could do congratulations. Oh, this one is from the Stitch Sweetly. Um, I'm thinking. Congratulations, heat embossed in silver with, I want to put a bit of the flower on. So this, this flower in pool party, that's where I've got to. I can find that flower. Let's give it a go. I'm going to do the flower first, see what that looks like. So let's turn that over. Let's grab pool party. This looks so green, but it is indeed pool party. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, Knowing my inks, they probably aren't very dark anyway. <laughs> Let me just clean that off. Now we go. Let's see what it looks like. That's a better colour. It's amazing what it looks like when it's clean. I sort of want it at an angle, like so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's 
so I'm thinking congratulations heat embossed in silver and then that would make a really nice um, wedding card or an anniversary card or it could be a birthday card so let's just do that just grab my Versa mark silver embossing powder and heat gum which I only unplugged just before five <laughs> thinking I wouldn't need it never mind Right, embossing buddy, oh just dropped a card, okay let's move this out of the way, embossing buddy, right the way over that and I've got congratulations that's the other thing I'm going to treat myself to on my next order is a new Versamark pad. Look at that. It starts off sort of creamy coloured. Okay. Congratulations. Add some silver embossing. Sorry if that's slightly out of your view. Like so. I'll just tip that out. Let's make sure that's nice and Tidy. I can see a tiny little bit on there. Normally have a small paintbrush to hand. amazing how the smallest bit shows up <laughs> it's a pool with some algae mm, could be okay so just lifting that heat gun warm up bits away so there's my congratulations like so if you can see that in there hope you can see it's nice and shiny Oh, that's really nice Christine that is so nice okay so this is going to go together like so and I'm just going to add some silver bling onto that I could stamp that same stamp on this side and this side and heat emboss Getting a bit too dangerous now, aren't I? Shall I be brave? Why not? Just because it looks a little bit um, bare. So I'm just going to do this 
top right. And bottom left. Like so. Back with the embossing powder. Just flicking from the back to get rid of any excess. There we go. So that's going to be my silver edge as well. Bring that all in together. And we're done. So be careful not to go over my congratulations. So I don't want to overheat it. There we go. Right, so this is going to go on to there. This is going to go on to there. I think that will work. So I know that I can put some glue down underneath where this goes. It feels like it should go in there. Okay, that's going to go there and cover it up. I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. Add a bit of bling and we're all done. So I just need to know somebody getting married in the short term or engaged. Yes, Brad's and eyelets. Yeah, Brad's in particular. Eyelets were fine, but they're always... Um... Oh, that's okay. Thanks, Carol G. Have a nice evening, my darling. I need to put that on upside down. Look. Yeah, no, Brad's were always, always good for acetate and vellum and things like that. There we go. Let's stick that done like that let me just score the back of that and add some bling there we go find some bling which I think is probably just going to be plain silver gems although the holiday rhinestones did have some pool party in them Got these little sequins which I know they're snowflakes but I think they would look quite cute on there. What do you think? Lucky for my holiday ones. I think they're to one side. 
think I might put these on because they've got that hint of blue in them let's have a look so those are pink and these are sort of blue and green so we don't need to tell anyone that they're snowflakes do we so three There we go. Look, I just want to put one at the top. There we are. Thank you, Tracy. There we go. Okay. So very different cards from the same piece of acetate. It's the other side of another of piece of the patterned paper. So this one has got the gold acetate on it with the gold thread from Forever Greenery, which I've just pulled out by mistake so we'll tighten that little knot up so just to say I'm thinking of you and then this one here the little congratulations Christmas flowers indeed so there we go thank you so much for joining me and sticking with me those that are still here thank you longer than my normal Thursday session um, I will be back again tomorrow Friday same time 5 p.m. and I'll be doing something else with the floral art session um, I will be probably using the gold leafing flakes um, directly onto the papers giving that a go as something different let me move these over so they cover up that mark on my paper. Oh, well done, Christine. Enjoy your cooking. <laughs> so thank you for joining me, everybody. Let's move that back over. I look forward to catching up with you hopefully tomorrow, um, Friday at five. In the meantime, have a good evening. Take care. Look after yourselves. Look after each other. And I hope you get to keep crafting. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>